I hosted the first ever Pokemon Olympics. Four athletes competed in the Pokeathlon across five courses to bring honor to their home country. Each course in the Pokeathlon featured three events that would test our competitors' athletic skills and their talents as a Pokemon trainer. Medals were awarded to the top three finishers of each course, and whoever had the most medals at the end of the day was crowned the inaugural Pokemon Olympics champion and became the proud owner of a crisp $100 bill. Competitors were allowed to complete the courses in any order, but they all did the exact same thing and tackled the speed course first. And it's here where they discovered that part of this challenge would be choosing which Pokemon to use for which course. I had filled each player's box with an identical elite roster of Olympic caliber Pokemon to choose from. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, every Pokemon has an inherent skill set that makes them better or worse at different Pokeathlon events. It may surprise you, but the speed course features three events that prioritize speed and our players' team choices smartly represent that. Small Ant, representing Canada, and Wacko, representing the US of A, both went with identical teams of Crobat, Aerodactyl, and Rapidash. Gentle Dude, representing Great Britain, subbed Aerodactyl for Electrode, and Peachal, representing Germany, brought an underdog roster of Crobat, Togepi, and Ladian. I've got my favorite. I mean, how can you not root for Togepi to become an Olympic champion, you know? The speed course starts with the hurdle race, by far the tamest of the Pokeathlon events, so surely our competitors will be able to handle it just fine. Alright, jump the hurdles, got it. Lot to, lot to keep track of here. Okay. Oh my god, they spaced that out perfectly. This is way harder than I anticipated because I've got them a lot- Ah! No! No, 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 no! Oh god, that's really fast. Okay, Ledian, you can do it. I'm focusing on two. How hard could this be? How hard could this be? No! Wait! No! No! How? Eight, okay, Ponyta's jump sucks. This Ponyta cannot jump for the life of me. My god. Okay, we got first, second, and third, though. Huge. Woo! Okay? Dude, Ledian, this cooked, man. That wasn't that bad. Ah, no! Oh, Robin Ash White, come on. Uh, I'm not very good at this, Flygon. No, 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 no! Get over that hurdle! I shot my screen! I messed up the overlay! Crap! Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. We're not using touch screens and styluses. We're using, uh, let, let's say a less conventional method. So this is gonna get sloppy. After each player was awarded points for their first event performance, they moved on to the speed course's second event, the Pennant Capture. Definitely one of the harder events in the Pokeathlon, but is it enough to cause our elite athletes to falter? How the f- How is the- What is the movement? What? I'm so confused! Wait, what? Oh my god, I just got stunned, dude. I don't understand! <laughs> I'm clicking! My, my crowbar will move! Oh, I've got a dragon. Okay. Oh, okay, I think I get it. I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck, bro. Okay, I think a more calculated approach is good here. Dude, they're zooming! No! That was not good. How'd she get 31? She got double what I got! Oh, guys, no. This is so bad. Okay, right, just, just, just deposit them. No, I didn't Ooh. bring them back. Frick. Okay, I'm not good at this one. Ah, that was, I came fourth, man. Considerably fourth as well. Listen, as long as I beat Wacko. We're chill. Okay, I'm kind of crushing it right now. Wait, they stole like eight from me. I had seven and then three of them just went missing. Oh, I gotta go back. Oh my God, really? Is that, is 17 good? Not 29? What the hell? Oh wait, I'm cooking. Whoa, insane combo coming up. Holy sh! My micro is insane. These guys are getting cooked right now. Ah, uh, well. Well, that one sucks ass. The final event in the speed course is a personal favorite, the relay race. Nothing too complicated here, just dash with your Pokemon and switch them out when they get tired. This too is one of the easier ones to do without a stylus, so surely we should see some peak athletic performance. Fortunately, we get to do every minigame twice. Okay, Rapidash, this is where Rapidash will shine, I bet. Oh my god, why did it switch? I didn't press the switch button. I'm locking in. 
Why, why is it switching? Why is it switching for me? Dude, I'm trying so hard. Come on. No, no. Get out of the rocks. Go, 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 go. I like go. Freaking. I'm losing to a Spiro. How are you losing to a Spiro, bro? <laughs> this is the worst game I've ever played in my life. Why does it keep switching? Stop! Move out of my way, Teddy Ursa. I need to be gaming today. Come on, one more lap, one more lap. Let's go, baby, let's go, baby, let's go. Okay, 15.6, I think I got first in that minigame. What's the, what did you say the record was? How many laps? It looks like Small Ant just got 15.6. 15? Who did he pick? Okay. Why, why did he switch? He ran for like two seconds. Oh my God, this is immersive. Why do I want this so bad? Come on. Come on, go back. No, I didn't mean to switch. I keep, I keep accidentally switching. Okay, okay, okay. I think 11.4 laps, that wasn't dreadful. With all three events in the speed course concluded, it was time to total each athlete's points and declare an overall winner. And the results weren't particularly close, Small Ant kinda crushed it. In hindsight, it probably shouldn't come as a surprise that the speed runner would be good at the speed course. But the first gold medal wasn't Small Ant's quite yet, because at the start of the competition, all four players decided that they wanted two chances at each course. The first was meant to serve as a practice round, but the best of the two scores would be counted as each player's final score. So, with another chance at glory, could some Somebody dethrone Small Ant? No, no, they could not. Small Ant claims the first Olympic gold, Peach Out claims silver, and Gentle Dude claims bronze. But with that, our competitors are onto the power course, featuring three brand new events. All four competitors bring Typhlosion, but the other choices are pretty eclectic. Peach Owl brings Grand Bull and Nitto King, Small Ant brings Steelix and Tyranitar, Gentle Dude brings Azumarill and Granbull, and Wacko brings Steelix and Firo for some reason. Gotta love an underdog, I guess. Event number one is a simple block smash game. Not much to it, the gameplay is about as interesting as Cookie Clicker. Maybe, I, I've never played that game. But event two is the Circle Push, a game of tactical skill and cutthroat last second maneuvers. Stay in the circle or die. All right, I'm pushing my, there we go. Thank you for my points. No way, Typhlosion's in there. That's unbelievable. We go down, we go down. Oh God, I'm getting cooked. Granbull. God, I had to babysit Granbull and then Needle King got pushed out. Comfortable, comfortable, sick, comfortable, awesome. He's in, he's in, he's in, right? He wasn't in? No shot. Should've just, just had to go to the other one. Ah, uh, Azu, please. Azu isn't in. That's harder than it looks. Gramble. Oh, Neo King, I think Neo King's in. Okay, that was perfect. This is just like splitting Marines versus Banelings, guys. Yes, okay, that was incredible. We got so many points there. Finish, 42, new record. The third and final event for the power course is the goal roll, AKA the hardest and most frustrating of the 10 Pokeathlon events. But I've got faith that our competitors can turn in some impressive performances. What the hell? They just bonked me. Okay, never mind. I'm goaded. Come on, Nido King. Nido, what the f are you guys doing? Please! Oh my god. It's so cooked, bro. Are you kidding? What is that? Dog! Dude, I'm so sick. Dude, I missed. Oh, right. I've got no one defending. No, oh, smacked it in the goal. Come on. No! No! Owen McGull! No, 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 I'm so bad, bro. This is the worst what? game I've ever played in my life. No, I was, I defended that. Nah, bro. No, why did you smack it? Oh. That counts. Hell yeah, dude. Finished, okay. 
Well, looks like everybody except Small Ant really struggled with that last event, and as a result, after the first round, he once again leads with 426 points. Though notably, that's not quite as large of a gap as during the speed course. Wacko trails by just 33 points, so a better performance in the goal roll on round two could make all the diff- well, never mind. But as Wacko lives up to Team USA's Olympic football legacy, there's a bit of magic happening across the pond in Great Britain. Gentle Dude's putting on quite the clinic in his second run of the power course, scoring a whopping 130 points in Block Smash, by far the best of the day, and netting 43 points in Circle Push. That puts him well on his way to beating Small Ant, but it means nothing if he can't put together a good score in the goal roll. Tito, stay back. Steelix and Nero King, I need you guys to just go all out. Oh, they stole the goal. It's okay, so do this. Oh, hell yeah. Good, Steelix. Steelix, take it! Oh, you frick. No, Tito, Tito, Tito! Stay there, and then just... Oh, unreal, unreal, unreal. Okay, there. Oh, I'm so good. Tito, just get to the goal, get to the goal. Nice. Oh, Tito, stay in the ghost. Tito, stay in the ghost. Did I do bad? I did one point! No! How? That felt, that felt better! Ah, that hurts. Ah, that sucks. I got one point. Well, it seems like it just wasn't meant to be. With that, Team Canada earns another gold medal, with Team Great Britain snagging silver, and Team USA getting on the board with a bronze. The skill course is next, and I have no idea what makes a Pokemon more skillful or how that translates to performances in these minigames, but that's the glory of the Pokeathlon. None of it makes a lick of sense. The teams this time around have decent overlap, with Alakazam and Meganium being the most common representatives, though I gotta once again shout out Pichow's decision to give Meowth a chance. That's what the Olympics are all about. Our first event in the skill course is the Snow Throw, a relatively confusing inclusion in an Olympic-themed set of minigames, but let's see how things go. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm getting hits, right? Here we go. We're at 12. The fact that this score goes up to three digits terrifies me. Is this how this game actually looks? This is insane. I don't know if it's the fact that I've got it organized the way that I do on my... I just, like, I can't really see. Am I getting creamed in this right now? A gentle dude. Throw. Touch, 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 touch. Throw. Touch, 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 Throw. Okay, I suck at that. That's good to know. I'm pretty sure I came last there. Yo, let's go! As long as I beat Jan, dude. 15? Is that good? I don't know. Okay, we're cooking, I think. I don't understand where my balls are even going. With the snowballs all thrown, and next is a repeat of everyone's favorite event, the goal roll. This is the worst game I've ever played in my life. Peach Owl notwithstanding, everyone else did pretty great on their now third session of the goal roll. Gentle Dude actually managed to score eight points for another all-time best. And that, along with a solid performance in the third event, which is another repeat in the form of the pennant capture, is enough to get him a first place finish with 299 points, just ahead of Small Ant's 279. But Small Ant has managed to improve his score on round two twice before. So the question is, can he do it again? And can Gentle Dude match it? Going into round two, our GBR representative makes the decision to swap Meganium out for Hitmontop. And the result is probably not exactly what Gentle Dude was looking for. Despite another impressive performance in the goal roll and a new PR in the pennant capture, it ends up being the snow throw that does him in. With just eight points, it's enough to improve his overall record, but that lackluster performance gives Small Ant just enough wiggle room to drastically improve his scores across the board and come out on top. That nearly 100 point improvement across rounds is undoubtedly impressive, though it isn't close to the best improvement of the day, which also occurred in the skill course. After an admittedly rough first round of just 209 points, Pichow came into round two with a vengeance. With Raichu replacing Tyranitar, he improved his snow throw score from 19 to 34. He put together a dominant five point finish in the fourth and final goal roll of his career, and he scored a 
solid 23 points in the pennant capture. The whopping 141 point improvement was enough to catapult him from dead last to just a few points below Small Ant, earning Team Germany their second silver medal. So here's the medal count with just two more courses to go. It's undeniable that Small Ant has cemented Team Canada as the heavy favorites, and it would take a colossal throw for him to lose his lead. But anything is possible at the Olympics. The penultimate course is the Stamina Course, which favors some of the bulkier Olympic hopefuls, and our competitors' teams reflect that. Kinda. The three events that constitute this course are a bizarre combination. The first and third events, Ring Drop and Block Smash respectively, require predominantly strength, but the second event, another relay race, requires serious speed in addition to endurance, making Pokemon like Steelix and Slowbro a bit of a handicap. After round one, everyone kinda picks up on that, which explains why most of them switch at least one teammate, and the results are significantly better scores for everybody, except Gentle Dude. But with that practice round completed, let's see how they do in the first event of round two, the Ring Drop. No. How did I get so many more points last time I played this? What was I cooking? I just got knocked out by a pine cone. Come on. Dude, Raichu just went insane. Whoa. Yeah, I, I was nothing doing anything there. Okay, nice. Do you minus points for falling off? Oh my god. I think you do. Okay. 148. Okay, 116. Not bad. At this point, I gotta direct your attention to my fellow American brother Wacko, because after a series of rough finishes, he's really putting something together here in the stamina course. Round one was less than impressive, but in round two, Wacko's pulling out all the stops. 113 points in the ring drop, a PR of 14.1 laps in the relay race, and a solid score of 108 points in the block smash. It's enough for a final score of 465, a great improvement of 101 points, and a solid 38 points higher than the highest scores from round one. This is undoubtedly Wacko's best performance to date, and could very well result in gold for Team USA. Okay, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Not enough. All right, we insta switch to Don Fan. He's doing great, man. Look at him go. Damn. No, I double clicked. If you double click a Pokemon, it switches it out. I should probably just switch there, to be honest. I'm switching now. Uh-huh. You can just run through the center. If you just go through the center, you're good. Okay. Okay, we crushed. I'm cooking. Rapidash is insane. We're on lap 14. Whoa! And it's locking for block smash. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna smash click here, I think. <sighs> 105. Not bad. Yeah, okay. Just spamming was the best. That was 116. That's so much better. In the end, Small Ant and Pichow were both able to put up extremely impressive performances, robbing Team USA of a gold or even a silver medal. But it's hard to beat yourself up too much when Small Ant pulls out a final score of over 500. The dude's a beast, and with his fourth gold medal, he's officially guaranteed a Canadian victory. At this point, all that our other competitors can do is ruin Small Ant's sweep. And the jump course features two brand new events, the perfect opportunity for the underdogs to strike. Small Ant's team consists of Firo, Crobat, and Ladian. Peach Al and Gentle Dude match two of Small Ant's three by also going with Crobat and Ladian, though Team Germany brings Hitmonlee and Team Great Britain brings Aerodactyl. Meanwhile, Wacko brings Ambipom, Aerodactyl, and... Let's go, Flygon! Look, I don't want to play favorites, but how can I not? Wacko's already the winner in my book, and that's all that matters. The first event in this final course is the Lamp Jump, another one of my personal favorites. Oh, I'm gonna make this... I'm gonna make this the big screen. Go! Go! That was silly. Okay, Ledian freaking sucks here, dude. Okay, I think this is a good angle. Nope, that's not. This is so hard to do with the mouse, dude. Dude, 
I don't know if I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing fine, but like also like every time I think I'm doing fine, I look over at someone else's score and find out I'm not. So. Was that good? That felt weird. Don't hit you. Don't hit each other, dude. <laughs> ah, we crashed out. All right. I don't know if that's good at all. This is the worst game I've ever played. And I just played goal push or whatever the fuck it was called. Now, if you've been paying any attention, it's perhaps unsurprising that Small Ant snags the highest score after the first event. But it's in the second event, the disc catch, where everything changes. Camp in the back of the most points. Flying types can move in any direction. Are you sure camp the back? We can't get anything, dude. Oh, my third guy fell off. Okay, I'm gonna put one on the right, you go over there to the right. Cool, I, I get this. I'm gonna keep it so real, I feel like my guys are just not jumping. Where is even my third guy? 24. Oh man. Uh, that felt bad. 31 points did not feel very lovely. Are you certain this is the right strategy, bro? I'm getting zero points. I got five points. That one was awful. Oh my God. That was the most horrendous advice I have ever been given by any of you. With that less than ideal finish for Small Ant, things have officially gotten interesting. The third and final event is a hurdle race, which everyone's done before. The difference in overall times is pretty marginal, so it's really the first two events that will determine the winner of this final course. And at the end of the first round, the results are remarkably different from what we've come to expect. Gentle Dude leads the field with 403 points, Wacko sits close behind him with 382, and Small Ant with 300 and 65 points finds himself in third place for the first time all day. Peachow then trails with 353 points, but of course none of this means anything since the results of round two could be completely different. Nevertheless, there's an electricity in the air. You can feel the swell of underdog support that's only matched by those who want to see a Canadian sweep. As round two begins, the jump course gold medal is truly anyone's to win. Sometimes the Pokemon just don't, like, register. It's so annoying. It, why are they not registering? Why is it not jumping? Guys, come on. Teamwork here. I just don't know, like, does the game process when you hold down click? Or does it only, like, for a second, or...? We need to get you guys away from the right side right now. We're getting Omega cooked. Jump, dude. Yo, Flygon, thank you for the five subs. We're using you, baby. Okay, we got a hundred less than last time here because they just, it wasn't registering my jumps. I, I really don't know. 419. How much did I get last time? Didn't I get less than this chat? 519, that's better than my first try. My record is five here. Let's just don't be ass. I'm just gonna hang out in the two point area. Flygon, are you the goat? Where did the fucking thing go? What the hell? What the hell? Ah! Oh no, screen gap is cooking me right now. Because the, the angle is super different. Oh, I'm getting so cooked, man. Dude, I'm getting 20 points. Jesus Christ. Ooh, right. Yeah, this is better this time. Oh, I tried to get that last one with five points. All right, 35? That's a little bit better than five, bro. Okay, uh... I don't think we won that one. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Lock in, bro. Lock in, let's go. No, I clicked. Nope. Please let me click. 97.8 seconds. No, Crobat jump, bro. Unironically, my best performance yet. Flygon isn't the fastest here. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. 
First, third, fourth. Flygon is just a lot slower than the other of them. Rest of them, we, it's four seconds slower, so it's not bad at all. Locked in. Game! All right. Well, that concludes it. Um, I don't know if you guys are looking at the results. I guess we'll go from fourth to first. The person that is unburdened by paying the taxes on the medals that you will have to do if once you bring them back to your nation is Wacko. Five points. Great job, Wacko. You got it. You got it. Very proud of you. Oh, we can't be good at everything. Uh, in third place with six points is Peachow with the bronze. Let's go. In second place is Gentle Dude. Really, really jumped up with a first place finish and jump. You got seven points. Heck yeah. And not quite getting the full sweep, but still a phenomenal performance. In first place, Team Canada Small Ant with 13 points. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, you have a trophy. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to Small Ant for becoming the inaugural Pokemon Olympics champion. This was a lot of fun to do. Huge thanks to all four of my competitors, so please go give them some love and support. As always, thanks so much for watching, and let me know if you want more events like this in the future down in the comments section. Until then, remember to always, always, always... I got nothing.